<clears throat> All right, let's go to anneal this. I'm just going to be putting a couple of bends into this strip to fit around the stone. Um, just got these small needle nose pliers that work pretty good for this. Shorten the clip up a lot, it was a lot longer, and really the bends is the important part. So there is the pup going a little crazy in the background. There, now that I get the last bend put in there, I just got to uh, straighten the edges up a little bit and clean them so I can solder the joint together. Just going to use my third hand here to hold the band while I solder it. These things are great. I finally got one a little while ago and it works so nice. I used to just kind of prop everything and balance it and try to solder it and it was always a pain this is so much nicer so just put a little bit of flux on there before i solder it and just double checking to make sure the joint is nice and tight and where i want it so i do uh, take the background noise out of this clip because i have music playing in the background and don't need to get a copyright claim so but if you like scottish style rock Check out Flatfoot56. They're a great band. That's what I was listening to. So, the name of the song is called Warriors. So, Flatfoot56 song is Warriors. You could check it out. So, I'm going to start with my torch farther away from the piece to begin with. Uh, the flux I use is a water based flux, and that water needs to boil out of it. I have a tiny piece of silver solder balanced on top of the band. If you get too close with the torch to begin with, it'll boil too quickly and your silver solder can jump off. So that's why you start farther away and then you can move in. And there we go. The silver solder just melted in. So we're good to go. All right, now that I got the band all soldered together, I'm just using this knife blank that I have. I haven't finished making this knife, and I'm just using it kind of as like an anvil to be able to get into the corners and uh, crisp them up a little bit so it fits the stone better. Now just a little test fit to make sure that it fits nicely before I solder onto the bottom plate for the bezel and it looks like we're good and it's just about where I want it. Okay, now that I got the fitment on the stone the way I like it, I'm just going to be flattening the band so I can get a good joint onto the base part of the bezel. Uh, just using some sandpaper and a little bit of water to keep the sandpaper from clogging from the metal dust. All right, now that the band is flat, I'm going to solder it to the base. Um, fool around with my torches, the knobs, like I said in the last video, they're funky. So just try to get it as close as I can and then go from there. So just working on getting the whole thing heated up evenly. Um, you got to keep the torch moving. If you hold it in one spot, you're likely to melt something, especially that thin edge. A little backfire there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now it's all heated up and soldered together. You know, it's really amazing the benefits you get from coffee. I mean, just check out that cut speed. Oh yeah, PS, not decaf. Now I'm just going to file down everything, make it look nice and pretty. Uh, there's a lot of filing, like several minutes of filing so I'm going to shorten that up a little bit alright now that that's filed away I have these jump rings that I made a little while ago and these are going to be soldered on to attach the French hooks to now I'm just going to grab another pair of pliers and line up the 
cut ends on the jump ring. When you make a jump ring, it's like making a coil spring, and when you cut it, the ends are half step off from each other, so you have to line them back up. Now I'm just putting in a pair of pliers, and I'm going to file a flat spot onto the jump ring. Right where the two ends actually come together is where I decided to put the flat spot. That way when I solder the jump ring onto the bezel, I get the joint on the jump ring plus soldering to the bezel all at the same time. The reason I decided to file a flat spot is that way I got two flat surfaces joining to each other instead of a round on a flat. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, as always, and um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see, uh, and don't forget to check out a couple of videos at the end of this one. Alright, until next time, see you later.